Yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou, and you are just in time for something new. All right, now in today's video, if you have not been uh, tuned in with my channel as well as what I've been doing, I recently did a breast auction on YouTube. It was probably the first of its kind on YouTube in that kind of sense. People have always sold brushes throughout the wave game. People have always asked me what I was gonna do with my brushes. For a long time, I was holding on to them, but I'm in a position in my life where I'm not only have I moved on past like the wave game and kind of the things that they came with it, uh, but I'm in a process in my mindset of just moving forward with my life, right? So I got a lot of these brushes that we're gonna get into uh, that I was holding on to for sentimental reasons, you know, like they mean a lot just in regards to the accomplishments that I made. Uh, even this brush holder was something that somebody made for me in regards to signifying the collaboration that Brush King as well as myself uh, were able to do. But I'm at a point where I'm just completely moving forward. As y'all can see, I'm growing my hair out. I will start making more videos talking about the hair growth process, even more things about beards. But y'all clicked on the video to see what the heck is my brush collection looking like, right? So just to give you all the update, uh, when it comes to this process, I've created a Discord community. If you are not familiar with Discord, Dis Discord, in my personal opinion, is better than Facebook because you don't have to worry about all the weird stuff that people be complaining about, such as, oh, well, I got banned off of this, this, this. Discord doesn't worry about that kind of stuff. Discord allows people to create communities and uh, the, the people that control the communities are the admins as well as the moderators, right? So as long as people are not being blatantly disrespectful, you can be on Discord uh, as long as you're not uh, violating anybody's rules, right? So I will have a link in the description to join my Discord. If you wanna become a, a paid supporting member, you can definitely do that. But my Discord is also made to where you don't have to pay, uh, but if you don't pay, then I'm not entitled to uh, respond back to you, you know? So with that being said, when it comes to this brush auction, the reason why this is so important is because these brushes, not only are these brushes completely new, some of them are still in the boxes, right? But these brushes have not been touched. As soon as I got them, I placed them into uh, my brush holder, right? So I wanna give a salute to my boy G-Ro, the hero. Uh, I don't know if he goes by that on Instagram anymore, but he was the one that created this brush box and uh, what it does is I added this little piece right here just to keep it locked up. But on the inside of this is the best brushes uh, that I've ever collected over the years and I'm gonna be doing an auction, right? So I wanted to make this video to give you all an update to be, be, be uh, aware of it. Uh, most likely by the time I get this video out, uh, today is August 13th. So what I'm probably gonna try to do is let you all know in the Discord community uh, whenever I plan on doing it. I, what I try to do is shoot for a Saturday around noon. As of right now, I am currently planning uh, our wedding with my fiance. So that is priority, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna definitely try to get this done because that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to get rid of all these brushes. I wanna clear up some of the space in the house and uh, make sure we get more room. Uh, so when, after we get married and stuff like that, we just have a little bit more space to ourselves, you know? So with that being said, let's go ahead and open up the vote and I'm gonna show y'all the brushes that you all will be able to bid for. Now with these brushes, when I first did the auction, I make sure I, I put a link, I'll put a link like right here that you can click on the video. Uh, the first time around, originally I was going to sell them for starting off at $5 and then bid based off of it. Uh, and then on that live, I started with just two. And some brushes sold for $40, some brushes sold for $30, some brushes sold for $65, right? Because all these brushes are brand new, especially the, some of them are still in the box, these are going to start at $20, right? Now, some of these are exclusives. That means you cannot find any of these brushes anywhere else on the market, right? Brush King, it either means that Brush King is no longer making it, or these are uh, brushes that uh, that they were like previous versions that are probably, probably not in stock right now, you know? So with that being said, uh, I, I noticed that on his site, most of the brushes that he sells, they go for at least $16.99 plus uh, shipping and, and tax and things of that nature. So it brings the brush for about $20. With these, the reason why I'm starting them off at 20 is because shipping is gonna be included as long as you are in the United States, right? If you are not in the United States and you wanna be a part of this auction, keep in mind, I am not about to pay for no shipping costs to ship overseas. If you want to be a for a brush, 
then just know that you will have to pay for the shipping cost. But if you live in the States, it's gonna be included because typically if I ship these brushes, the shipping goes anywhere between four, sometimes to, to nine dollars based off of the, the weight of it, unless somebody buys like 10 brushes, you know? So with that being said, let's not, let's not waste any more time. And I'm gonna just, for the rest of this video, just show y'all the brushes that I have, right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Mm. So, as you all can see, as you all can see, man, you know what I'm saying? Your boy J. Lou got a pretty nice collection. When I first opened this thing up, one of the questions that people kept asking me about right here, do you got the Black Panther uh, royalty? I think this is the 8, uh, 802. This bad boy is right here. Never been touched. Of course, I got to probably dust it off and things of that nature because I got a few dust in here, but everybody that was in the first auction, most of the people got their brushes by now. I did a wash on every single one of those brushes, made them look damn near brand new, you know, so with that being said, you ain't got to worry about that, but that is the Black Panther, right? So I'm probably going to get close-ups on a few of them in a little bit, but this is another brush that people have been asking me. Hey, yo, J. Lou, do you got this bad boy right here? This is the Torino Pro 606, right? When when BK made this brush, this is to be a better version of the Diane brushes back in the day. I think it was the Diane 8159, right? Most people would sell these brushes for a hundred dollars, right? So this one right here, I got it. It's never been used. I, I, I never picked it up. I actually had another version of this brush. And just to give y'all a funny little story, when it came down to all of my brushes that was hanged up, you know which brushes are the good ones. If you don't know what's a good brush, just take all your brushes, leave them out on, on, on the dresser, and let your girlfriend, let your fiance, let your wife just go through it. She said, hey babe, can I use a brush? Whatever brush she pick up, you know that's the best brush. When it came to all of the brushes that I had, this was the first brush, not this one, but the other, the, 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 the other copy of it. This was the first version that my wife ended up picking up. I picked the brush up, I was like, damn, I didn't even get to use it, you know? So they let me know that this, like a lot of people was looking for this bad boy. This bad boy is uh, definitely an exclusive, right? But I got so many other ones in here that you all can see. This is, I call this one the crate toast. You know, uh, this is the, I think this was the Royalty 901. I can't remember exactly, uh, but this brush is a premium. You know, a lot of people was looking for this joint, this joker right here. I do not believe uh, BK still sells it or even makes this one. You know, then we got the Kobe right here. This is the one that I made uh, before Kobe passed away. I nicknamed it the Kobe brush just because I want to pull it out because these are kind of together. But as you can see, I have several different royalties. I have several different Torinos. Another one that people love is this sky blue royalty right here. This bad boy is a medium brush, right? So with this Joker, uh, people been looking for this bad boy. So as y'all can see, I got some hella exclusive brushes. Uh, and I got some of them that are not in here that, that will be a part of the live stream. Uh, there's some people that, that offered to pay for some brushes on a previous live stream, but I have not got confirmation from them that they are willing to pay. So if they don't pay by the time I do the live auction, those brushes will be in the auction. You know, so with that being said, I also got some brushes over here that's still in the box brand new. Uh, let me see which ones I got over here. These are all, this is, this says it's a Torino Pro on the inside. I'm trying to grab a royalty one. So this is a royalty brush right here. Never been used, never been touched. Still in the box and things of that nature, you know. So uh, the the good, the, the funny thing about this one is these were the brushes. Like I was the first person to have these royalties before anybody had them, you know. So if you want an opportunity to join the live auction, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Uh, I will be doing a live. I will give the announcements in the Discord. Another reason why I made the Discord is because whenever I make the announcement, I can actually give you a ping notification. Sometimes YouTube is a hit or miss. Sometimes YouTube doesn't notify people, but I'm gonna try to do this on a Saturday around noon, and I'll let people know on Discord which Saturday I plan on doing it. So I may do it the following Saturday. We will we will just have to see how everything uh, rolls out. But with that being said, I'm gonna get into making more videos in regards to my hair, the hair growth process. As of right now, what you guys are looking at, this is about seven months of hair growth, you know? So I probably will try to make a, a six month uh, timeline, elapsed video, whatever the case is, but I'm gonna get into making more beard videos. The thing is, I'm not one of those YouTubers that just make the same kind of content over and over and over and repetitive, or I try to come up with all these crazy methods 
that a lot of people do just just to make stuff up right that it's really not beneficial for your hair I only try to stick to the things that actually work and what I realized on YouTube is a lot of people they just want to be entertained you know and I'm not here to entertain I'm here to educate you know so uh, when it comes to the beer videos there's only so many things I can talk about unless y'all want me to start repeating myself you know so with that being said it's your boy J Lou I hope to see you all in the next video hope you all have a blessed week Salute.